Good evening, my name is Jacob Salia. I get a couple of questions about this grid interactive inverter, which I got fitted my home. And you know, I always make a video, it's the easiest way. So, there's my 3 kVA grid interactive inverter fitted next to my DP board. Uh, quite neat, um, as you can see. Right, so let's go down. Okay, there's another battery on the chart on the side. I've got basically two gel batteries there, 110, uh, 120 uh, watt. 120, yeah, 120 amp hour batteries next to that. I've uh, got my inverter. Presently, I am pulling 212, 209. Uh, I've got a setting there that you can go through and look at your voltages and everything. So it's fully programmable. It will show you the volts, the watts, the solar panels, how much you watch your solar panels are producing. It can't make coffee though. That's one of the things you cannot do. But you can actually switch on the kettle to actually make you some coffee. Right, on the DB board, I've got a, <coughs> my geezer set on a timer, so I just want to just switch this on, get my geezer on, get some power through this. So we're pulling 5.1 kilowatt presently, and you can see it's going into overload. Also switch on some heaters here. I think this is a 1.8 kilowatt heater, three element heater, so I'll get that on. Got a heater on in the room. Now uh, get the kettle on there, right, the kettle is on there, get the microwave on. Right, so now we're pulling 9.58 kilowatts. So this is actually a 3 kilowatt inverter and I'm pushing nearly 10 kilowatts through it. And this is what we basically call a grid interactive inverter. It will actually push through all the kilowatts that you can push through it. But as soon as it reaches, as soon as ESCOM goes off, it will actually just kick out if you're using more power that you actually consume. So the 5 kilowatt you can push through 10 kilowatts through it or as much as you want to. So 3 kilowatt the same story but as soon as the power goes off from ESCOM it will actually kick out. So let's say your geyser is on or something is on. All you basically do is just go to your geyser, switch off all your geyser and all the elements and it will just run on normally. So yeah that's basically the story about a grid interactive inverter where you get you still your ESCOM power going through your inverter but as soon as the ESCOM goes off of course then you know you've only got solar whatever and that's uh, basically the story of a grid interactive inverter how you push through 10 kilowatts of power through a 3 kilowatt inverter any questions you guys are more than welcome to email me and contact me have a great day